is it, old bud. I gotta get on out and feed my horses. I have to let you off here now. Take care. Anybody up there?
Oh, that'll be fine. Thank you. That's the chops we've had in some time, Miss Fontaine. Gonna be anything else? No, thank you. <coughs> be with you in a minute, Miss Evie. There you are. Morning, John. You're out mighty early this morning, Miss Evie. What are you gonna have? Uh, half a pound of hamburger, please. Coming right up. Sure hope things don't go no higher. I can't hardly afford this. There you are. Be right with you, Miss Fontaine. Coffee in a minute, Kevin.
Bobby's ready. Kevin? Kevin, let's just forget about last night. Everything's all right, I promise. I won't let anything happen to you. Don't do this to me, Kevin. You're being spiteful. Miss Fontaine? Good morning, Robert. Is something wrong? Oh, no, ma'am. I just I just to... made some coffee. Come in. No, I really better be getting on to school as soon as I feed Caesar. Oh, We're already late. I know. That's just it. Miss Haberman will make a big Oh, I'm sure Mrs. Haberman will be very understanding, Robert. Yes, ma'am. Miss Fontaine? Yes, Robert. What I want to talk to you about? Yes, Robert. I wanted to know if I could ride Caesar at some of the calf roping trials at Colonel Martin's. You're really quite fond of Caesar, aren't you, Robert? Yes, ma'am. Caesar. So are we. Yes, ma'am. Calf roping. A horse has to be trained for that, doesn't he, Robert? Yes, and Colonel Martin. He has not been trained for calf roping. Oh, he's... He's really good at it. How long has this been going on? Ever since I've been working with him. How often to wear you were that close? Yes, ma'am. It's like I could see right into his head, and he knows just what I want him to do. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. I'm being real careful with him, ma'am. We'll see, Robert. I'll speak to my husband. I gotta be getting on. You just keep thinking about them calves. Yes? Leslie, Dr. Emerson. Good afternoon. Hey. Then I won't keep you. I was a little concerned. You missed your appointment again yesterday. Kevin and I went for a walk, Doctor. My leg is perfectly fine. And your headache? You're not a psychiatrist. Are you, Dr. Emerson? Sorry, do we have to go into this now? No, we can save it until next week if you prefer. Leslie? Oh, all right, I'll be there. Look, I'll be out that way next week. Why don't I stop by your place? Yes, of course. 2.30? Yes. Fine. Goodbye.
What do you think you're doing here? I hitched a ride, seeing as you haven't been by to see me lately. You ain't supposed to be here. Well, I'm not going to walk back. She sure must be rich. I don't know, because I never asked. Well, what's wrong with you? Since you don't want anyone else around here, I'm busy, busy. Kevin? Kevin, we have another visitor. Did you do this? Yep. It's beautiful. Would you fix my saddle like this? Well, this one's kind of special. You and your darned horse act like you own him. Maybe I do. What? Deep down inside where it really counts, maybe I do. Anything I can do to get that horse for real, I will. <laughs> Go on and laugh at me. I'll get him. Of course, once I do, I'll have time to come see you like I used to. Probably wouldn't. But you better. Sure I will. Let's go, Susie. Give me a kiss. What? Give me a kiss. Susie. Come on, be serious. We can't mess around here. Why not? Because she might come out and catch us in the short rows. <laughs> you want to try? Come on. I'm going to get you out of here before you get me into trouble. Susie, come on, let's go. Come on. Will you come see me tonight? No, get in. Why not? Because I'll probably be busy here. Let's go.
want to talk about Kevin. Someone has to. You won't. Why? He's too much a part of your life to be ignored, Leslie. You were very close, weren't you? You and Kevin. Even his children. All we had was each other. Of course we were close. Perhaps unnaturally so. This bond between you at least for you, is becoming unhealthy. Unhealthy? What do you know about unhealthy? You weren't there when she walked us into that room with four closed coffins. We were little children. Parents were dead. Who else was there to love? I know that you didn't get along with her very well, Leslie, but there was your Aunt Fowler. And Fowler. And Fowler, indeed. You never knew her till she was nearly dead. You never knew her in her pride. Leslie. Look at her. Look at her. You're ten years old. I'm a 60-year-old spinster. Don't. Is my cane. It is for staring children. Don't. I don't like children in my house. They are nasty, naughty things. Don't. What are you looking at? Don't. What have you been up to now? Don't. How did you get so dirty? Don't. Don't you ever wash your hands? Leslie? Everything was built before. She tried to ruin the only love we ever had. She couldn't. We wouldn't let her. And can she now? There is no now. Does Kevin agree with that? Kevin is gone. That's where I've been all this time. Looking for him. Oh? 
Kevin, who lives with you now? Get out. That's no answer, Leslie. Get out. You need to face this, not run away from no. it. No. I think perhaps you need to go back to the hospital again. Just for a while. Get out. Can I talk with Kevin? You can't, doctor. You see, I don't think Kevin wants to talk to you. Ever. That'll be all for today, please. Ma'am? I said that will be all for today. But I haven't even started. He hasn't been fed or brushed. You will walk. please leave now. Ma'am, I think it's my job. I know how to feed a horse. You come back tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Leslie Fontaine. Let me speak to Colonel Martin. Quickly, please. Well, we're not here right now, but... Now you tell him that Caesar will not be participating in any calf-loving trials.
My darling demanding pepper. Would you like a drink? Sure. I'm going to have a drink. Do you like bourbon and water? Yes, sir. Coming right up.
Here we are. <laughs> to your health, Robert. You are healthy, aren't you, Robert? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why did you come here tonight? I want to know why you changed your mind about me riding Caesar. I beg your pardon? You said I could ride him. Oh, I said I would think about it. I guess I'd better be getting on. Take off your coat. Make yourself comfortable. I really gotta be getting on. Robert. My mind could be changed again. Stop riding Caesar, ma'am. I didn't know what to do when Colonel Martin said you called. I want to ride that horse awful bad. How bad? First, I got real mad, and then... Ma'am? Your drink? Miss Fontaine? Oh, no. Could I have my coat? It's cold outside. I'm doing this for you, Caesar. Miss Fontaine? Ma'am? Bravo! Bossier City. 
Claire's place. And Clara? Oh, it's not Clara. It's Twinkle that I... Yes? Well, she works there, you know, and I... I wonder you don't want me. It's only $25. How much time do I get? How much time do you need? Uh, let's make it $15. $22.50. Thank you. Yeah. How about $17.50? How much money do you have in both pockets? How much do I have in both pockets? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I've got twenty dollars. Period. Now, uh, what have you got? I got myself a deal. Well, let's get it out. The 
she didn't get enough. Can I help you? Are you Carl? Yeah, I'm Clara. Can I talk to you? Sure. You do this before? It's not for me. <laughs> I it never is. Now we're all amazed here. Yeah. She's more down your line. Twinkle won't take care of you like I can, honey. She was recommended. It's for a friend. A house call? That's expensive. And in advance. I have the money. Okay, just what kind of a game is this? I ain't a freak, you know. No? No. And I don't go in for that three-way business, either. Neither do I. <sighs> Look, I already told you. Not with women, either. Kevin will be here soon enough. I just want to talk to you for a few minutes before he comes. Do men find you attractive because of your body? Of course, I got a lot going for me in other departments, too. I'm sure you're extremely talented. Do you enjoy being a prostitute, Twinkle? I must. I've been at it long enough. Don't you find that men are physically unclean? You mean dirty? Yes, dirty. <laughs> well, most of them are, I guess. Doesn't it bother you, I mean, that men are dirty? Choosy in this business, pretty soon you're out of business. Like Ma used to say. It all comes off in the wash. Is that so? Yeah. It's like everything else. You get dirty, and then you wash. Look, are you going to get him in here or not? I don't have all night. If you want me to go get him, I'd be you glad. Time to get ready. I'll get Kevin.
I'm Twinkle. So you're Kevin, huh? Well, come on. I heard a lot about you. Got me all worked up. Just wait for you. <laughs> Look, I don't go in for no whip stuff. Just use enough. You want to do this or not? I ain't going to wait forever. Oh, I get it. The shy type. <laughs> well, come on, the lights are out. Oh, to hell with it. You're just as kinky as your old lady. One's enough, but two is too many. Worth it. You can keep your
This is Miss Fontaine. Could you come to the house immediately? It's Kevin. He's hurt. His arm is cut. to the executor of my will. Do you have any objections? No. Good. This Aunt Fowler's money at any rate. Do you remember my Aunt Fowler, doctor? Yes. For all those years, I had to take care of her. All for that one afternoon. The afternoon of my 16th birthday. I'd come in from school and bathed. And put on my robe. I heard the door open behind me. to speak, but he put his finger to his lips to stop me. Aunt Fowler would never permit us to visit each other in our rooms. He held his other hand behind him. I knew my birthday present was in that hand. Our dress we had seen together at the ladies' aid rummage sale. evil toad hobbled toward me. She kept her eyes on me as she told Kevin to leave the room. Her hand came at me and ripped the dress from me. Leaving me naked in front of her. body with such disgust. I'll never forget. She didn't even let him 
say goodbye to me. And you felt that you'd been left all alone without Kevin? No. With Kevin. Always with Kevin. Of course you couldn't know that. You came here no more than absolutely necessary. I came when you called. Perhaps I didn't call often enough. Tell me, Doctor. Do you find me sexually desirable? Do you? Don't you want to touch me, make love to me? Is that what you want? This is your big chance, Doctor. The patient is willing. Let me get you out of here. Please, get you filthy. We don't want that. I want you to stay here. I'll be right back. I'm not leaving this house. we can do now? I suppose not. Best be going. If only I'd gotten back a little earlier. She'd have done it sooner or later. You know about that? Small town, Doc.
tell, Leslie? I had forgotten how beautiful this place is. A nice place to be dead. Could have done was bury them for me. 